it's Bunny, and today I'm gonna show you guys what I've got in my travel makeup bag. I'm literally flying out to LA tomorrow. I'm so, so nervous. You guys know that I hate getting on airplanes, and anything with which having to do with travel makes me queasy. So just to kind of get my mind off of it, I'm spending some time with you guys. Y'all always make me feel better. But these are all the products that I feel that I need to get me through uh, the weekend. So it's just the basics and kind of everything I've got going on my face today. So this will just kind of give you some insight into the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Very first, I have a couple of skincare items. You guys know that I cannot live without my Murad stuff. It literally keeps my face from being evil. First step are my Murad clarifying wipes and mine look a little dirty. These are not technically like makeup remover wipes. They're more like toner, cleansing wipes. Definitely one of my holy grail products. You can find them everywhere, like Sephora and Ulta. Also, I have two other Murad staple skincare items. The first being something I cannot live without. I discovered it about two or three months ago and it is the Acne Clearing Solution. So this has just a little bit of extra salicylic acid in it. I put this on every single day, regardless of if I'm wearing makeup or snot. It's got 0.5% salicylic acid. Now I'm talking and eating my hair at the same time. Also, I have my skin perfecting lotion and this is just my favorite moisturizer. It makes my skin so much smoother. Yes. Next, I put on my favorite foundation as of late, which is my It Cosmetics Illumination Foundation. And right now I'm using the shade Light. It may be one shade darker than I need, but I've tried Fair and I just didn't like it as much as Light. This stuff is so beautiful and wonderful. It is my holy grail foundation. I'm just gonna say holy grail 30 times in this video. I have been applying it with my Sigma Large Powder Miss Bunny brush. This is from the Miss Bunny set and it's dirty right now. Just look at that dirt. Ugh. Am I scaring you right now? I might touch you with my dirty face brush. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I set my powder foundation with another powder because I'm insane. Lately, I have been loving this NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. It's supposed to have illuminating properties in it. Mine looks disgustingly filthy, and I think it's because, like, the brush, the transfer from the foundation shade. This used to be beautiful and sparkling white, and I know it's not like mold or anything because I've literally only had this for about two weeks. It is a wonderful product, and lately I've just been obsessed with having, like, a really shiny, dewy face. And I think that this helps accomplish just that. I apply this NARS powder with this Sigma brush, which is also from the Miss Bunny set. And this is the Duo Fiber F50 brush. Duo Fiber brushes are my favorite kind of brushes. I don't know what I would do without them. I need to try and like make time to wash all these brushes before I take them with me. They're all so dirty, yet still so fluffy, fluffy and dirty. That's what they are. Next, I apply yet another powder. I do love my powders. This powder is just for my around the eye area, just to kind of make, make my eyes look brighter and to give people the false impression that I'm actually well rested and prepared for life and the day. Sippy, sippy. So this is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer, and boy have I made a mess of this product. It's like a sifter thing, but just somehow there's so much product in the lid, so I have to carefully apply it. I'm sure you just saw like the dust cloud. It looks like, uh, what's that Charlie Brown character with the, I almost said dirt bag. I bet that's not his name. You know the kid, the pig pen, that's it, okay. I apply this product with this little BH Cosmetics flat top brush. I'm not sure what it's called because they didn't stamp the name on the handle. I love it anyway. It's just perfect for getting in that little area right there. Next, I do my brows and my staple product for that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder in the shade Blonde. I think I've talked about this on my channel before several times. I feel like I will never 
run out of this product. I've probably been using it for at least four or five months and it still looks kind of brand new on the top. Like you can still see the Tarte logo in most of the places. I love it. This is by far the best brow product I have ever used in my whole life. So for that, I just use this Tarte little angled brush that I'm pretty sure is actually for gel eyeliner, but I use it to just fill in my brows because I don't like following rules and instructions. I just do whatever I want. Next, I apply my contouring, especially when I'm just doing like a super light makeup look that doesn't involve any eyeshadow whatsoever. So for that, I use my staple bronzing powder, which is Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. I have been using this stuff for years, not like literal four years, but four years. For that, I apply it with this super old Tokidoki angled brush. I don't even think that you can buy these anymore. My mom literally bought me this set of brushes probably five years ago, and I just refuse to let them die. So I just shampoo them and use them forever and ever and ever. But it's so cute. There's like a little tiger wearing a crown. It's so cute. I'm gonna do your makeup today. That's what he says. Next, I apply my blush, and my favorite blush lately is the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush, and this is something about berry. So it is a really bright, shimmery kind of blush. I just mix all them colors together just like that. I'll show you how I do it, just like this. <laughs> I put this on with, I always say that these are like acorn brushes, because don't they kind of look like a little acorn shape just in my head. This is also from BH Cosmetics. I bet it's not called the acorn brush though. Technical name? I don't know. Then to kind of blend everything together and add a little bit of highlight, I am using one of my brand new favorite products, which is the Physician's Formula Multicolored Custom Bronzer for blondes. They have different shades for different hair colors. And I know that it says that it's a bronzer, but you really don't get that much bronzing quality in this. You really get more of this light pink and just an all over kind of nice shimmering highlight. So I just kind of blend out my contouring and my blush with this product. I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond and I apply this with my little MAC. I want to call it the Life Aquatic brush, but it's like aquatic. I forgot what this collection was called, but it's kind of like double-sided, which is so cool. So you can use it for different purposes. And uh, MAC probably still sells this brush. It is the 127 brush, but they probably just don't have this same colored like turquoise handle. After that, I move on to doing my, these things coming out of my eyeballs eyelashes. I use three different products on them. The first being my Tightline Mascara from IT Cosmetics. This is great at just kind of priming your lashes and by priming I mean separating them. It doesn't really do anything to like lengthen them. It just kind of gets really close to your waterline so you don't miss any lashes. The next product I put on is my Dior Show Maximizer Lash Primer. This primes, lengthens, it's got like those little fibers in them. So this adds like the va va boo boo va va boo. God, I can't talk about the va va boo. That's what everyone wants. So uh, this just adds extra oomph to your eyelashes and gives them uh, the appearance of being fake without really being fake. Lastly, I top it all off with Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte and it's just a wonderful staple black mascara, easy to apply, separates them, makes them look very dark and nice. Like now, today, they look so good. And then lastly, I move on to my lips, which is like a 30 step process. I actually have four different products for my lips. I feel like I just spat a little bit on the camera. Sorry. The very first product I put on to help remedy my eternal dry desert mouth is Too Faced Lip Insurance. It's a really moisturizing lip primer and you just apply it like a lip gloss. Then I line my lips with the best and cheapest red lip liner on the face of the earth. And that is a boutique, boutique lip liner in real red. And I picked this up at Sally's 
Sometimes they even put these on sale. The normal price is a dollar, but sometimes you can even get them for 50 cents. It's insane. It's the best one I have ever tried, and I have tried a lot of red lip products. Next, just to kind of prime and make the color last longer, I use Too Faced's Stiletto Red, and I'm not sure exactly what this product is called. It's just like their lipstick in a gold tube. It's very moisturizing, so once again, that kind of helps like the mattifying properties of the lip pencil. It just, it makes it all uh, like smoother and look less bad. And then lastly, to give me that signature like matte kind of lip noir, lip rouge, I guess I should say, but like a classic, like sometimes I wish I could be like, you know, in like the old spy movies and like wear a hat with a brim like covering one eye, you know, go see like a super spy or something. Is this, is this making any sense? Do you know what I mean? What are those movies called? Help me. I use Max Ruby Woo and this is a beautiful, wonderful matte classic red. And I'm so proud of myself because I've almost finished this entire tube of lipstick. I feel like that's an achievement unlocked like actually finishing a product does anyone else feel pride when they actually use up like an entire tube of mascara or lipstick or something just please don't let me be the only one that is it for today i just kind of thought it would be fun to uh, go through my makeup products like as i'm trying to pack them and pack my other stuff that's one of the reasons that i hate Traveling. I think uh, travel anxiety because like I have to put things in a thing and take the thing with me and it's just I'm scared of losing the things, forgetting the things, the things, the things. Someone hug me. I need a hug today. I'm gonna hug you. I'm hugging you. That was creepy. Not really coming for me. I've definitely done creepier. And we've never done this before, but I'm gonna ask you guys a question today just because I'm curious. Where are some cities that you wish you could travel to, but you haven't gotten the chance to travel there yet? I'm so bad at traveling, but I'm kind of, I'm trying to get better at traveling because I feel like there are some places I would like to go. I just need to like amp up my bravery and punch my anxiety in the face. My top cities I wanna go to, I've always wanted to go to Deadwood uh, for obvious reasons, maybe not obvious reasons. Never been there, sure would like an excuse to go there. I also would love to go to Europe, like I'd love to go to Italy. I would really like to go, and I know I'm gonna mispronounce this island, but it's supposed to be super duper haunted. Po Provgalia, Provgalia, someone help me. I wanna go there, it's in Italy, and I'd love to go to Paris, of course. Oh, and probably London, London would be nice too. I don't know, just comment down below, like some cities that you'd love to travel to. It's just kind of fun, like seeing you guys share, tell me about yourselves. I wanna know, I'm curious. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wangs. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!